You know the definition of one-to-one -one or injective, but how can you see whether a function is one-to-one? -one? In this video, we will learn how you can use a graph of a function to see whether a function is one-to-one -one or not. So once again, the definition, function from d domain to c codomain is one-to-one, -one, and for every y in the codomain, there's at most one x in the domain which is mapped to that particular y. So you cannot have two x's in the domain mapping to the same y in the codomain. How can we use the graph of f uh, to test this? Well, we use the horizontal line test. So what are we going to do? So, for example, we have our first example f of x equals x cubed minus x, and we're going to draw horizontal lines. For example, horizontal line over here. Oops. And we see uh, how many times it intersects the graph of the function f. Well, we see it intersects it once. So for this particular value, why not? Uh, we have one intersection of the with the graph of f, which means that there is one point, so point over here, x naught, which is mapped to that particular value of y naught. And now we are going to search for heights which we intersect the graph more times. Well, we go a bit low, and then we see over here. Okay, we only intersect the graph once in this in this y one, so in the x one over here. Uh, so again, only one intersection. So to that particular y1 and to that particular y0, I have only one x which is mapped to that value. So we think, well, maybe the function is one to one. But then we go a bit in the middle, over here, uh, at zero, by the way. And then we see the, that we intersect the graph three times, at minus one, at zero, and at one. So we see three different values of x are mapped to the same value of y. Minus 1, 1, and 0 are all mapped to the same value of y. So that means that, we, uh, uh, that it's not true that for all values of y, only one x is mapping to that particular value of y. For one of the values, or more in fact, uh, we see that uh, multiple values are mapped to the same value of y, which means that our function is not one-to-one. -one. Second example. Uh, fx equals x cubed, so almost the same. The first example was x cubed minus x, and now we have x cubed. So what's the difference? Now if we start to draw horizontal lines again, we see that we always intersect the graph only once. Whichever height we take, whichever y we take. So that means that in this case we can see from the horizontal line test that our function is uh, one to one. We can also see it algebraically in this case, by the way, because our function is quite easy. If we set uh, f of x equals uh, x cubed, uh, and we want to see uh, x cubed equals y naught, and how many solutions does this problem have? Uh, do we for, for any y naught in R, can you have more than one solution, or can you have only one solution? Well, in this case, we are able to solve this problem. If you are, uh, know complex numbers, you know the three solutions. Your three solutions are y not to the power one over three, uh, y not to the power one over three times this complex exponential and times this other complex exponential. And you know from your complex numbers that these values over here are not an R, which means that your problem fx equals y not has only one solution for all values of y. Uh, now. Uh, so that proves that our second function was indeed a uh, one-to-one. -one. Now, the if your function is not one-to-one, -one, like in example one, you can always make it one-to-one, -one. because if a function is one-to-one, -one, if for any y in the codomain, you have only one x in the domain mapping to that particular value of y. But now, if you restrict your domain, if you make your domain small enough, then you can take care of the fact that multiple values are, are mapped to one. You cut out a few values of your domain, and then your function will become one-to-one. -one. Uh, for example, in, the ex uh, in example one, we used to have our as our domain all of r, well, that's too large. But if you would scratch all of this part of the function, say up till here, uh, so if you uh, start, your start your domain at the minimum, and form this as your new domain, uh, then your function becomes one-to-one. -one. So, uh, if your function is not one-to-one -one yet, you will always be able to make it one-to-one -one just by restricting the domain appropriately. And you also can see 
how to that how to that from the graph so now you know uh, how you can see when a function on to what and you can also see uh, you have also learned how you can make a function one-to-one -one if it's not one-to-one -one yet.